Welcome to the desert of the real. family this is your brother mr holipsism um gonna do a uh video and i was gonna make this a talking point smash but i talking point smash is is basically for bootlicking negroes you know like and their talking points and me smash them so it's more like the people that would be considered enemies of black African progress so when I look at this particular subject that I'm going to touch on it's a talking point that I hear amongst um, people that I would consider of like mind uh, people who I would consider my brothers and sisters in the struggle so I didn't want to do a talking point smash on that because I'm not really going at them you know what I'm saying I just want to clarify some things and give my point of view on this and the video is about the concept of moving around the chess pieces and in case you don't know what I'm talking about it's like <laughs> well I use as an example um, Barack Obama now I did a couple of videos prior to this one talking about my take on Barack Obama and you know some people have said to me well you know we, we need to participate in the political system and you know to say that we should just abandon Obama and not participate po politically is just not good strategy and you know like they're giving me these scenarios where you know we need to buy um, politicians just like everyone else buys politicians and the reason why we don't get what we want is because um, you know we don't we're not playing by the same rules as everyone if you want politician to work for you you have to finance them and blah 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 and I'm not gonna discount that and say that that's not true because I believe that if we are if we were a fully functional nation participation in the political system would be advantageous for us to achieve certain things that we want so I understand what they're saying but if you notice what I've been using all the time in explaining this, I've been saying we. And you know what my thoughts and opinions are on we. When you start saying we, who are you talking about? Because from a socio economic and political level, there is no we, there is no us, and there is no our. So when I use these terms, is basically as a general descriptor so that so that the people that I'm speaking to know what I'm talking about but in terms of something tangible and concrete doesn't exist It's only a, a vague abstraction and you know I'm gonna repeat some some things that I've said before in this video and I used to be concerned about being redundant but then I realized that if I have to suffer through redundancy why should anybody else not suffer through it if I can suffer through your redundancy then you can suffer through mine you know so until we stop being redundant and we start making some progress on these points I'm just gonna just keep saying the same thing because if the same thing still applies I'm gonna say it number one I already stated there is no us there is no we there is no our so you can't this this concept of individuals attempting to move the chess pieces around like they interacting with the system and and to their advantage is a fantasy that they got in their mind you know what I'm saying and when you get these these singular individuals whether they be leaders leadership of a particular organization or sect who push these agendas onto the people about yeah we need to participate in the political system because if we don't do this then the Tea Party is going to get in and the da 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 listen 
I don't fear the Tea Party. As a matter of fact, based on how we respond to things in this country or, or historically, we need some fire under our ass. They just killed the brother. They just killed the brother. You know? And I'm not going to say he was innocent or whatever. I don't know what he was innocent. I can tell you this. There was a reasonable doubt. You know what I'm saying? And that's all that's really needed according to their supposed law. There was, an, there was a reasonable doubt. A more than reasonable doubt. But we let that slide. No reaction. No real substantial reaction from the people. Most people didn't even know about it. Like in my own circle. I said, you heard about Troy Davis? Like who? You know what I'm saying? So this whole thing about we needs to be defined. Who are we? Because right now there is no we. Another thing, and I've said this before, I did a paper a long time ago called In Search of We, where I, I broke down um, and asked some questions in that paper. I wish that I had it. I don't know what the hell I did with it, but I remember it. And basically what I said was, um, how can you be a solo spy? It's like, well, no, how can I put this? If a spy... A Chinese spy is infiltrates into the United States government and he obtains key and vital information that would benefit um well I don't want to get ahead of myself. He obtains key and vital information. Who is he reporting that information back to? Because if you're a spy, you gotta be a spy for someone, right? If a Russian spy infiltrates into another government, let's say in the U.S., who are they reporting the information that they get back to? Wouldn't it be the Russian government? So basically, everybody who's a spy, everybody who's a quote-unquote spook who sat be beside the door, didn't they have somebody that they were reporting the information and all of this knowledge that they were obtaining to but when you look at us, we got a bunch of solo spies who ain't reporting to no organization, ain't reporting to no nation, ain't reporting to no government. They just reporting to themselves. You're the spook who sat by the door for yourself. So you get this information, you obtain this knowledge, and it helps you personally. But what about our people? What about our nation? Well, I can't really blame them because we don't have one and that's my point point. and I don't understand why I'm not I don't understand why people are not getting me on this because whenever people want to debate me and talk about um, black issues what they do is they personalize it down to the individual and, and let me get this straight I am not against the concept of individualism within its, its within a context because like I said on my um my website you are not an individual just for yourself you're an individual to help further the group that you were birthed from you know like if a Chinese the Chinese baby is born that baby didn't just fall out the freaking sky that baby comes from a gene pool that baby comes from an ethnic an ethnicity and it comes from a people the people birthed that baby, not just the mother. The mother was a, the mother is a representation of the people. You know what I'm saying? It's like so this is a Chinese baby. It's not just there for itself. But let's not even look at human beings. Let look let's look at everything. You got an ant. The ant is not just born for itself. The bird is not just bird born for itself. I mean, if that was the case, you would just fall out the sky connected to absolutely nobody. 